I'm sure your fans throughout Montana, Mr. Price, would love to know a bit about your family. Could you tell us about your wife and your, your family? Well, Norma, I have a, a wife and a 10-year-old daughter. Unfortunately, they don't travel with me as she's in school, and um, they just be holed up in one motel after another. Uh -huh. uh, this is my 15th year as a lecturer around the country. I, I find it one of the most exciting parts of my life. And uh, in a funny way, I think they're a little jealous of me, getting to see as much of America and meeting as many fascinating people like yourself. Well, thank you. How much time during the year do you, do you vote to traveling and lecturing like this? Well, I, um, I spend about, uh, oh, 45 days on lecture tours around mm -hmm. the country, sometimes all concentrated, sometimes sort of spread out. But then I also work for Sears Roebuck, and I go around the country for Sears. So I do an awful lot of traveling, but that really is sort of par for the course in modern life. How about films for 1973? Do you have anything um, in the works right now? I have a film that just I made in, in London uh, last summer that is just coming out with uh, Diana Rigg and about 15 of the best actors in England. Mm. It's called Theater of Blood or Much Ado About Murder. And oh. it's really a whipper. Oh, oh it's great. Wow. It's really wonderful. When will it be released? Oh, I think in a month or so. I don't know. And you what's the name that. again? Theater of Blood or Much Ado About Murder. Okay, we'll watch for yeah, it. I think you'll enjoy it. And what it. about television? Do you have some things coming up? Well, there? I do a show which is sort of the number one show on the air now called Hollywood Squares, right. and I do it a great deal. And uh, when I go back at the end of this week, I'm going to be in Los Angeles for about a week and do a couple of weeks of them because we do five shows in one day. Uh -huh. And so I'll do a couple of weeks of Hollywood Squares then. You've very successfully kept your finger in all the medium. Do you have about stage? Have you done any of that in the last several years? Oh, yes. Uh, I do a lot of theater, as a matter of fact. Every time I get a chance, mm -hmm. I did uh, Oliver a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and had a wonderful time doing that, the musical. And Is there a favorite of all these medium, or do you just love them all? No, I love them all. Uh -huh. I think they're very much alike. Uh -huh. I think people tend to say, well, you know, television is different from uh, mm -hmm. radio, or, you know, I don't think that at all. Have you ever had a desire to have your own show? No. Well, there's a danger many great stars feel of overexposure. I think do so. Have your own show. And I, you know, I get to do about 75, 80 television shows a year, and they're all different. Right. So uh, I feel I'm much luckier than just being stuck being, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, one of the characters in one of those things. <laughs> right. They all get very bored with them, I'll tell you that. How many years have you been in show business, Mr. Price? That's a kind of leading question, but I'll tell you, 35 years. I just want to say, and I'm not just, you know, giving you a compliment to give you one, but all my life you look exactly as I would picture you to be. You haven't, in my opinion, and the opinion of many others who have met you here, haven't aged an ounce, and we'd like to know the secret of, of keeping so young and so dynamic. Well, I, Norma, you know, I think really the sort of that n nobody looks older, really. It depends on their vitality, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Right. You know, you can meet a 90-year-old person who is as vital and young as a person who is 50, a lot younger sometimes. <laughs> um, I do a lot of things, and I like to work, and I'm very sort of pleased with my life, and uh, I feel that uh, that is the one thing that sort of keeps you active and interested and young. Do you have one key that's your philosophy of life? I think to avoid boredom. To avoid boredom, I see. And what about faith? Does it play a role in your Very life? much so, because you have to have a lot of faith to avoid boredom. <laughs> right. Well, he's certainly an actor that's not boring to watch in any of the parts that he plays, whether it be in, on the stage, on television, or in movies, or on the lecture stand. And he's certainly a delight to be with personally. And we want to thank you on behalf of all of our viewers throughout the whole state of Montana for Normal. coming to Great thank Falls you. and giving us a chance to thank be you. with it's you Thank you. It's lovely today. to see you. Thank you. Bless you.